Hi, I'm Rich Caddy. I'm a 3D VFX artist in Las Vegas, Nevada, and this is my experience with the new Einscan Einstar. My previous experience has been with the Einscan SE. It worked on a mount and a turntable, which wasn't really intuitive for scanning in organic assets, which tend to be more what I lean towards when I'm needing to scan. Uh, most hard surface assets, I'll kind of just model from scratch myself, but uh, it gave me really good results for scanning out uh, this uh, female form to create this Nefertiti bust. So I was definitely looking forward to seeing what this handheld scanner could do. What I like about the new Einstar is it allows for a smoother scan because of the three cameras that are built into it. Um, I believe one of the cameras is infrared, so it allows you to scan in almost any type of environment, whether it's daytime or a darkly lit room. Um, previously, with the EinScan SE, uh, I got some of my best quality scans while scanning in a really low light environment versus uh, with the three camera system that they have for this EinStar. It allows for us to scan in a, in a well lit environment and still pick up a lot of the texture detail that we're looking for. Some of the updates to the software have been very helpful as well, like the color indicator for the distance from the scanner. Uh, and blue for far, green for good, uh, red means you're too close to the object you're scanning. That uh, data quality indicator, it kind of gives you a, a heads up while you're scanning uh, how well your scan is coming out. Overall, the point calculation and the polygon measure have been, have been much faster in my experience than they were previously. There are a few artifacts in this scan, but I was pretty happy with the overall result. It gave me a lot more detail than I was expecting, so I wasn't really worried about those uh, artifacts that showed up. Most of those artifacts are from either me moving too quickly with the scanner or just subtle movements from the subject. In this example, I decided to scan in a chair that we have uh, to show kind of the ability to do like architectural uh, assets. Uh, the scanner is super adaptable. Uh, it allows for scanning both large and small objects, and you can even scan multiple objects at the same time. The heat map from the data quality indicator is very useful. So it shows you what areas you've gathered enough detail and you can move on from that area. You know, obviously, you know, Red areas could use more detail. Uh, green areas are picked up a lot of or point cloud information. Again, super happy with the scan result. I even decided to try and double dip and go back and pick up even more point cloud information for some of those areas where it was still a little bit yellow uh, to try and get it more into the green zone just to get more point cloud information for the so I can generate a, a higher quality scan.